Thanks, Robert. Edmonton is seeing many new shows open this month. The Grindstone Theater is putting on their newest show, and this entire week it's been sold out. Jason Kenney's Hot Boy Summer the Musical is about a newly elected student union president, Jason Kenney, at the U of A set in 1983. He and his frat are planning the hottest year-end party, but his biggest enemy, Rachel, is plotting against him. Soon his frat mates and friend, Dina Hinshaw, start turning against him as well. When I come out, most of the audience dislikes me, um, and then I win them over, and because they're like, oh, I can't cheer for Kenny, but I'm cheering for Kenny. The show is now extended and will be running December 9th to 16th. Tickets are available online at thegrindstonetheatre.ca. The Citadel Theatre is continuing their season with in-person performances, and this month, a comedy with smart, hilarious women at its centre. Right. The Fiancé is a story about Lucy, who gets engaged to three men during World War II because no one should have to go overseas without someone to come home to, but then all three return and show up at her apartment at the same time. I wanted to write a show where women got to do the comedy. They got to be the center of it. They got to be the ones who are slamming the doors and tripping over the furniture. There's student pricing if you call the box office that is um, significantly cheaper than the standard pricing because we love when students come see the show. They're the most lively houses. Student pricing is available for shows on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and is $24. You can get them by calling the box office or showing your student ID when buying tickets in person. The show runs till November 28th. Northern Light Theatre's opening night for the Great Whorehouse Fire of 1921 is tonight. Based on real events, the play imagines what happened on Boxing Day 1921 in Big Valley. No records were ever found on how the house burnt down that night, but locals said it was a whorehouse. Both the director and playwright were drawn to the story. I think this version of the play is um, darker and um, deeper than, than it was originally envisioned, even by the playwright. And so I think that that's exciting to see that world come to life. Tickets must be bought 24 hours in advance online. The show will be held at the Varscona Theatre and it's running till November 28th. Jubilation's Dinner Theatre's tour, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, is now in Edmonton following its Calgary performances. I'm so happy to be back on stage. I just feel like my life is back on track and I'm back doing what I want to do, what I'm the best at, what I love the most. So I'm very happy. The show is about two sisters being hired by their aunt to sing songs for her resort. It features songs from the ladies of the 80s, such as Madonna and Cyndi Lauper. One thing that's really nice is we actually get to go interact with audience members at their tables. So it's just a really interactive, sort of immersive experience, which is awesome. So please come out, we love it. <laughs> Along with the show, you also get a three course meal of your choice. And there is a student discount if you would like tickets. The show runs till January 23rd. Nate Student Association put on a Mario Kart tournament Thursday night at the Nest Eatery on Nate's campus. <laughs> Students registered online to compete in a friendly competition. The first place winner gets a $100 gift card of their choice and the second place winner a $75 card. Many people came out to show off their gaming skills. Probably getting to play with people, whether it's friends or just new people and just kind of experience and bond over just a fun time. Going fast and winning uh, to the point where they think I'm cheating. <laughs> My favorite thing about Mario Kart is definitely the uh, amount of chaos it can cause. You have no idea what's going to happen midway through a race. Some can get a lightning bolt or a blue shell. Nitsa has more events happening this month, such as how to decorate cakes, puppy yoga, and paint and pour. You can visit oopslife.ca to find out more about these and other events. So, Robert, any shows catching your eye for this weekend? Uh, actually, the Hot Boy Summer one seems interesting. I'd love to see Kenny act like a frat boy. <laughs> Nathan, are you catching any live theater this, this weekend or just the Oilers game? Well, I am a former theater kid, 
but the Oilers are playing the Chicago Blackhawks, so I might just have to stick with hockey. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, that's for all for me. Thank you, guys.